Thank you, everybody. I'm going to call to order uh, the uh, Fifth Overall Commission meeting for September 11th. Uh, I'm going to waive the Pledge of Allegiance, although I'm going to observe a moment of silence for the victims of 9 11. So we did not have a meeting last month, so we're going to act on the minutes from our July meeting. Uh, everybody should have a copy of it. And any comments, questions, or visions from anybody? And I'll take a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve the July minutes. Oh. All right, all in favor? All right. Right. Uh, yeah, 
it affected the draw, and I have one for you. That's not good. No, I know, I know. I don't take it anyway. I, I feel for um, people that are technical and channels, like I think the least uh, clear cookies and that's like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I just play those very easy. You just go here and here and here and hit the button. Yeah. Do people still call it? Like, I assume people still call it. Not they not do. Um, they do. But it, the traffic of calling for details is not that much. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. People have been trained to change. Right. right. Yeah. And, well, I, some people still believe that what they're seeing on their computer is not real. So they'll call them today. <laughs> <laughs> there really no We just have frustrating things that the way that they can play it slow around there. And that's what we do. That's a golf problem. Right. We play it. 1048, I think, it was four and a half hours. Yeah, that's, and that's the wheel is going to expire in half and five hours before the time. Yeah. Yeah, that seems slow on the weekend. So, was it two Sundays ago? No, it was this past Saturday. Yeah. It's slow. That would be slow. Usually, the Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, very quick. It is. It's the next one. One thing you run into is with having a car. Um, people, it's hard. Like, the car's in the morning, as you know, and three hours of change. Right. right. But you'll get groups that somehow they got in there and they followed the car. And the right. car's the same. Mm -hmm. The real problem is to keep the group in front of you. Mm -hmm. right. goal, but right. it's a tough argument for a range to say. It's your fault. Well, I'm on time, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in general, I, I really think this uh, is a great thing for us. Compared to most, I think it's a great culture. And I, I, I think it's. And although I'm getting sworn at every day <laughs> about eight. What about eight? So, so over the water? Yeah, I'm getting That's all every day. day people swear at me. But I love it. I love it. That's been universal. Yeah. Um, and I've been looking at some leader And I'm board. starting to see some more places in New England now. Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, nice. It's very good. It's very great. No, the ladies have all changed. Oh, it did change from the number one. They will change again. Um, they're supposed to come out and actually yeah. do a physical yeah. rating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be actually, interesting to see. It will be able yeah. to uh, the ladies. So we, uh, yeah. we just had the first round of the ladies club yeah. championship. Uh -huh. From the number one seed. And we had one score on three. I think two scores on the left. So. That's it? <laughs> great. Yeah, I know. I, I, um, really? It's unusual though, because I know people play in it, and they use score cards. There is something about having a scorecard in your pocket. It, it can be a little heavy. Speaking of scorecards, but I'm in the past, I thought the scores were going to be dramatically lower. Yeah, I was, but I, I compared this to the year before, and the one that Jeff 77 did play last year, I can't really put it in the equation. But last year, from the two it was 81. So, yeah. Yeah. very interesting. You can get any negative feedback on the scorecard itself. Only to be using I'm open to changing it, whatever. We can make it horizontal or something. I love the way it folds myself, but it's totally up to you guys. I, the only thing I think wrong with it myself is it's a little short. You can't. It needs to be a little longer. And when you fold it, you can't get the more. It's a little small. But I have my own amount of these. Some of the words are horizontal and some are vertical. So when you look at it, like, I like it. Show it to me. I love it. Yeah, I want to keep improving on it. I didn't buy a lot. We didn't buy a lot. Okay. Oh, we didn't buy a lot. No. But anyone else mentioned that? Oh, yeah. I didn't really pay attention to that, but that's yeah. a publishing thing. Are we going to do radios and handicap folks next week? Well, um, uh, we'll be interested to see what the CSGA thinks. Okay. We'll be interested to see what the CSGA thinks. Yeah. Okay. But they're now using hard data that's being collected by golf genius. Right. And, and things are changing dramatically in that world, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll start seeing them. Um, not anymore will they just raise the par threes. 15, 16, 17, and 18. Mm -hmm. uh, they could be high. I've already seen the data, and uh, they're going to rate off every hole. And it's going to be, they're going to recommend something different, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't want to get ahead, but mm -hmm. the data is green. Yeah, because 14 is not the number one hole. Oh, uh, they're going to change the handicap? I don't think so. I'm looking at the recommended two guys. Yeah, that's what they're up to you. They'll uh, take recommendations. Oh, yeah. 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 And then I get, I was also. Because I know that you didn't buy a lot of tour cards this year, 
seeing that combo one. That we throw another color. Right. How about this? That one request from one lady for a scorecard for that this year. That's amazing. Oh, I wow. thought there was something. That one request I got. I have a pile on my desk that I printed. I have not had one request. I have not seen anything in place. But does everyone know that they can request it? That's the thing. It's a busy scorecard. Yeah. They don't have a combo. Yeah. Nobody's using it. But there's a way with these arrows. The arrows, we can clean it up. There's a way. There's a way. We can clean it up. There's a way. No, that's what I would like. Yeah. Yeah. The arrows are down. Yeah. 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 There's a way. I thought we were going to start putting in every month. Yep, we don't Definitely. have a re- we can't do the re- yeah we can't do that report every month. So I'll have to include it in the next one, which would be more of a quarterly. Um, That's fine. Because those numbers don't really change, so they're being paid out right now. It, my other question relates to that, though. We had talked about uh, you're giving us on a quarterly basis <clears throat> a cost summary. <clears throat> maybe just versus budget, so that we could get a sense not only of the activity level, but of the profitability level of the golf course. And I thought we'd yeah, discuss the two, the, <laughs> that you would give us give us that information yeah. on, on a quarterly basis, which being the last month of the quarter now, we before next month. Right. So I don't go before the Board of Finance until later this month or next month at the earliest to talk end of year. So once we talk with the Board of Finance, then I will bring that same information to you guys. But it hasn't been compiled yet. They're not at that point. Yeah, my my thinking is that, you know, we talked about the ratio between resident and non-resident and all that kind of stuff. 
the bottom line comes down to whether or not the financial performance of the golf course is, is adequate and what the town expects. And the data we get every month doesn't give us a way to look at that. Okay. I understand what you're asking for, but I'm telling you I can't give that to you until I give it to the Board of Finance. They get it first. That's fine. And, yeah, I mean, it, that's fine. Thank you. All right. Anything else, Anthony? Do we ever uh, get anything back on the simulators? Does that move forward? Does that not move forward? So shut up. <laughs> Simulators are pretty much dead on arrival for the cart okay. barn. We have not made any progress with that, and we're still trying to meet with purchasing and the town C, uh, the town CAO to go through um, the driving range upgrade. So those are all kind of in limbo right now. Uh, well, I thought the driving range yeah, upgrade that? was approved. Yeah, not to quote. No, the money was approved. Yeah, the money yeah. the money was approved. But it all yes. has to go out to bid, and it hasn't gone out to bid yet. Now, why are the simulators dead? Is it because they've been rejected, or is that, again, a, a, finan a procedural issue with purchasing and the format of the bid? Um, we were going to try to explore having Boca uh, put the money forward and kind of own you know, do a split with us and kind of own that process, but the Board of Finance rejected that plan. Right. So why right. don't so we they didn't give forward? Well, the next time I can go for money for between, you know, for the Board of Finance would be in January, um, but I would have to get this onto the capital water, the five-year waterfall chart, which it's not on at the moment. If that's something that they want to entertain putting on the waterfall chart within the next five years, I can bring that up at the October meeting and they can try to slot it in somewhere over the next five years, or they'll put it at the end of the chart. So that would be considered capital because of the amount, right? The hundred and some thousand. That's, that's correct. And then that's when, why it was much easier. It was much easier to partner with Boca and go that route, but the Board of Finance didn't like that. And then, what about getting bids for the upgrades for the um, the driving range? We're just waiting to meet with purchasing. When purchasing and Bob and the CAO and I can all get together, we will discuss how we can move that forward. But at the moment, it's like I said, it's in a holding pattern. And is that because we definitely need to go out to bid? I thought there was some discussion that maybe we don't need to go out to bid. Um, purchasing is of the mindset that we need to go out to bid. And the CAO is of the mindset that we need to go out to bid. For which asset? Uh, for the full for the full project, for the full project. I mean, there's two components of it. One is building the the stalls, uh, the, right. the the driving bays themselves, which the <clears throat> town thinks anybody can come in and do and build the spec. And then the other side of that is the actual um, uh, the top tracer uh, software. Uh, obviously, if there's top tracer and that could be sole source, then yeah, that could go to top tracer. But if there's an alternative the top tracer out there, and I'm not saying there is or isn't, then they would put that out to bid to give the other company the opportunity. Uh, what is the main, um, what's in your way of actually having the meeting? Well, I think the summer was in the way of everybody's plans. I, I think that's all it was so far. That what? I didn't hear that. What? Can you repeat that, Anthony? I believe the holdup so far has just been everybody's schedule and not being able to get together to actually hash through the details. Okay. Do you and think that's something that could happen in the next month? That would depend on the four individuals involved. Yeah, maybe. I'd like to think so. I mean, I would have loved to have uh, been doing this project already, but everybody's busy. Projects that should make money. Right. And then what about the short game area? How how do we stand with that? Well, that was built into phase two, so we don't have the funding for that. So I'd go I will be going for that money in January and February, I believe, that's on the next portion of this chart. 
So the half million that was approved out of the waterfall budget only covers the track. It was a test. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It was only two hundred. They only gave us half. Two seventy-five is all they gave us to start. That was phase wow. one, which is which is the bays, the mats, and the top tracer. Phase two was um, the actual uh, short game area, and I think netting and other other things like that. But okay. All right. I'll follow Andy after this. So I'll get in that meeting. Because the people that need to know are Anthony, Bob, the CAO, and who else? Bruce, Purchasing director. Uh, Adam Taylor. Uh, All right. We'll keep us updated, Anthony. Yep. All right. Any other questions for Anthony? All right, thank you. Peter, you're up. Hello, uh, well, it's uh, going to try with tribulations this uh, month. We hang in there, golf course in good shape. I just give kudos to my guys, uh, Peter, Ed Simmons, all the guys. They just couldn't probably be on the call to me. Going out there to Corey Ray, uh, good, uh, they, they've done a great job. Uh, of course, it's like they hit the rain yesterday, it's warm rain again today. So it's uh, so time, but uh, then we had water we break up on uh, Easter, so we had no water when it was not a sack down here uh, last week. So it's like, you know, Easter of fans around here. But all in all, of course, it's in good shape. And uh, then I was airified all the greens on the 21st, got that all done, and it all healed up nicely. And uh, we can start following soon, and we can do it now. I did that. Yeah. And I have uh, we made a few cores and trees to do along the uh, right side of 16. And we're going to spread that car path out, uh, you know, probably mid October. When the big starts going on, I'll get uh, more time frame down for that. Uh, and also the car path that we're going to tear up. At least get some uh, road mix down here. The road mix normal done. It's come down just to smooth that out. Stop breaking both this car. We ask a good mic here. We put together like a list of what you can do and when, just so that we have guesses of what it is. I just have that time to do that. No, I know. Yeah, like, I just saying those things right now. That's good to know, but you know, just so we can kind of understand what, where, where we're going. Yeah. Gotcha. Other than that, uh, like I said, kudos to my guys, and uh, I work to fall. Right. How is the weather? Cold and young. Um, that's it. It's a good time. They kind of have uh, my mechanic to retire and he's back. So he's uh, been back part time. It's shaving me, actually. So uh, the equipment's up and running pretty well. So that's the down equipment and he's working on it. But uh, moving forward, uh, oh, we, we just got, we did get a new fairway mower, a new green mower in, so they had a new rough mower in. Mm -hmm. So they did finally come through to that. So that's helping them out. Well, brand new, excellent. Yeah, brand new. Nice. So that's all. That's all good. So just, I mean, more time you need that stuff is down. Right. Yeah. So all good. It's just good. I'll do. The greens are actually running back. Uh, Depends on who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe going up to the valley. Yeah. Normally they're kind of the same line. They're always kind of the same seat, but uh, mm -hmm. like, we don't. We don't. I got her out there to try to hold and keep on running, and I was like, maybe you got shorter or something. I don't know. They'll never do that. Well, you got to come. They're going to pull. All right. You're doing real well, Peter. Yeah. yeah. Sure, right there. We're on tear on this course. It's yeah, we're going to suffer. Yeah. Right. And the rain. Yeah. yeah. That, that's killing us. Oh. Yeah, Peter, the, the, uh, the green report is good. The course looks great. Um, the only thing is that I don't know what you can do about it. I can't believe how much the ACT has been eaten up. Oh, yeah. And I don't yeah. know. I tried to put the seat, you know, you put the seat there, which was good in sand, and we try to fill it in all the time. The new one? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no sun on it. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I don't know. What, what do you think the solution is to? Yeah, well, I don't know. 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 I don't
But I, do, I just wish people would put the thing down, you know, after they take a visit or whatever. But. Okay, well, when the uh, piece, you know, starts so my guy would be out there. And, mm -hmm. like, uh, the second thing is just it, destroyed. Yeah. yeah. But the course is the course is in great shape. Love it. Okay. And that is doing a great job. That the green score? The green score, yeah. Do you have anything to add? Uh, no, I, uh, I'm way inside of it. Perfect. Yeah. All right. You may have been playing the Barbarado? I played it once. I don't remember if it was this month or last month. But the same thing. It's, it was great. Yeah, I played it. Kind of consistent. Yeah, same. Dave and I played Wednesday. Yeah. We were a little nervous because we had a 410 tea time. And we got there, there was like a ton of kids, and I put them in the take forever. The kids were great. We finished in an hour. The wow, really? kids were fast in front of us. I was I wanted to talk to Sean. Uh, he was on the phone with somebody who I don't know what he was doing, complaining or whatever. But I wanted to tell him just how pleased we were and how fast it was. The kids were Those are our intermediate players. Like I kinda of got these levels going. Well they're, they're, they're learning etiquette and basic. I tell you, they did a good job. Right here. The kids were nervous when they saw us, too. And uh, one of them was that I, and we said I. But they were, they were true. Did you get into them? So I was really happy. Why did that uh, should middle school start? Yeah. Next week? Oh, yeah. This week? Yeah, this week. Yeah. yeah. That's so we got to middle school, St. John. Uh, part three is being in life, but we use very much. Yeah, you get the program there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's great. When we saw Jeff giving uh, lessons when we finished. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff so welcome to golf down there. Yeah. Where was that met? No, no, they were on. Oh, the funny thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's right. Welcome to golf. Yeah. 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 Welcome to golf with Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's a good program. Uh, I think it's going to help long term with people playing the market. It's great. And you're introducing the game. It's yeah. great. It's a great place. It didn't stick with us. Cancel because the weather forecast is so bad. But if we don't cancel, 
And at 9 o'clock, the silence goes on. We've got 100 plus guys coming into this building, standing around in the hallway, and they're not going to go home this time because they paid for their lunch. And what we've been asking for is to open the restaurant, not service. We don't expect menus and waiters or anything like that. Let us come in the building, out of the weather, have a place to sit, and wait until the restaurant opens so we can then have the lunch that we've already pre-committed to. I know there's a security issue with the bar, and so someone in the restaurant would have to bring in an extra person or two, or maybe one, just to make sure that nobody gets anything from the bar. If our guys want to eat or get a soft drink, they can go to the snack window, buy it there just as they would any other day, and bring it in and sit inside the building. We have the same situation in the spring and the fall, but we have the risk of frost days. So we're looking at, I, since this restaurant, since this building was built, that day on the 30th and this Wednesday are the only two times this has ever been an issue for us. So this isn't something that's going to happen every week. And there, you know, this town spent $7 million building this building for the golf course. And for us to have to not be able to get in out of the weather, to me, is inappropriate. And it's not like we're not a good customer. And every time this issue comes up, <clears throat> excuse me, what this commission says is, Anything we ask the restaurant to do is going to cost them money. They're running a business, and we don't want to do that to the restaurant. And in my two-plus years on this commission, the restaurant's that in a thousand, and the golfers are that in zero. And we have no idea whether this restaurant makes money or not. I don't know whether they made the $2 million threshold last year beyond which, according to the concession agreement, they're supposed to pay an additional 2%. But if they did, and, and when Yanni came to our meeting in January, he said, thanks for going great and having a good year. What is so hard about being able to at least provide an accommodation and bad weather for people to be comfortable and safe? Did you ask him? Ask who? Yanni. I mean, have you talked to Yanni or Katie and asked them, hey, we've got this event on Wednesday. We'd like to open up because the weather – potentially is going to be, you know, bad? I have not asked Yanni. I met with Katie today, but we didn't discuss this subject. We discussed what our obligation would be if we cancel late. But no, I haven't asked Yanni. I don't, I don't, I'd don't. i be more than happy to go talk to him. I just have not felt, based on our discussions in this group, that I have any uh, dialogue with Yanni. Well, we had Yanni in here. Right. Well, there's a lease, right? I know we, we always bring this up, but like, there's a lease, right? We lease that restaurant to Boca. I understand. And to just say to them now, hey, it's not going to lease, but do this. And there's no staff repair, right? So what do we do with the staff? Just have people on call. That in, in a situation like this, we know enough in advance, and we knew on the 30th, that maybe he needs to have someone on call. You're talking to you. you know, that's been your argument all along. What do we want them to do? This is not a big deal. We just want to be safe. Talk to Yanni and say, hey, listen, there's rain coming up. And again, again like, I, I don't think we can force them to open the restaurant. I, no, but this body chose them. And they're administered by Anthony. So there's no reason why dialogue can occur from within this body or from Anthony. Why should it be up to me? And I'm one of the I've talked to Yanni in the past. I've talked to Yanni in the past and been totally up to the discussion. I am the president of the senior lady, yes, I agree with that. So I don't have any issue. I'll I'll go talk to Yanni, but I think it's the answer of the shit. I'm sorry? So the buzz is terrible. Yeah, we'll talk yeah, the, the answer is yes. And, and and furthermore, if we can't solve this problem, and I don't expect it to be solved, and I, I don't want to put our guys at risk. Right. Yeah. So the probability is Wednesday isn't. Well, risk is that they lose their lunch, right? They don't want to show up. That's not the risk, right? 
Will they get a refund? Will they get a refund of everything? Yeah, yeah. We're either going to try to do a rain date on the fourth of October, uh -huh. or we're going to have to give everybody back their money. Right. And I've worked out with Katie. You know, I said, look, if you have any indebtedness as a result of this, I'll pay you for whatever your expenses were, and that's that's not an issue. Right. But this is not just the scene. You've got a photograph of a bunch of guys standing in a hallway at a frost delay that occurred on a weekend a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. It's it's to say this is a senior league problem. I don't think it's it's not 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 you have a net come and, and in the case of next Wednesday, that may be so. But I still think that we as a body can adopt a policy. That, that, well, you know, I, there's, I that, think that I don't. I don't think we can adopt a policy that violates the lease. To the point that you're making, we don't want to violate. Well, we would. Lease. We can't make them do or something that's not in the lease. So if we want to change things, we have to ask him if he'd be willing to modify the agreement. Do you know? Do you know what the lease says? The lease says the restaurant will be open when the golf course is open. Yeah. You have said to me that we all agree that having the snack closet open until 11.30 meets the definition of the restaurant is open. I don't ever remember that being discussed. Mm -hmm. and there was nothing right. in the this is, not a first time. this is not a first question. No. It is not the first time, and I have no recollection. I would be very interested in having a lawyer take a look at that and say, does that, does that constitute the rest of it? I'm not going to do that because I don't want it. Is the entire issue the bar? Is that the real issue here? So is it the issue that we're going to do that? Is that what we What we were told when you like a babysitter, there's no statute that I'm going to go back to the bar. It's that. And they say, like, open bar. I'm going to say, open bar. And they have terms. Right. All three of those are about. And if they go real. Yeah, there's no way to put up any type of divide about. It's going to be here is the alcohol is available. So that's why we can't be unattended. You know, to be fair, to be fair for Mike's point, and maybe it's something that there has to be some type of contract written that if we are having a morning event at the men's club or whomever, they're, they're coming in for lunch in the event of rain or inclement weather, can you staff something? And I think that maybe we need to discuss that with Yanni. But the first thing, I was surprised when you told me that you didn't meet with Yanni. I think the first thing to do would be ask Yanni to listen in case of inclement weather. We're coming back. We've already known, right? We've Sorry. already been he told you no before. No. Oh, so he has to meet with us. I get your point, and I think that especially for a vet, but all I'm saying that maybe is, something can be written in the contract saying, let me go off the That's a better yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. That's the better That's the better And I think the main issue right here is the cost of additional staff. Right. But if you're coming back, I'm not even convinced that there is an insurance issue. But we have an insurance issue with 100 people staring in the damn hallway. Right. But I'm saying if we're having an event for lunch, then let's work something in the contract and we'll pay, we need the staff on so we can get it in out of the weather. I mean, is there a written thing between uh, a written, your, something written? Is there a contract that you have between you and Yanni for lunch? No. no. It's, it's just, just a verbal issue. Okay. 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 Katie and I exchange emails and yeah. we are many on the price. So that means that this is something that needs to be added. I think it's a fair point. It's a, it's a, it's a problem. You know? I think you're right. If you're booking something and then it's a big enough event, you, right. But I do think that's not, I don't think it's the town imposing that on, on folk. I think it's whoever is doing the event says, them, what happens in the event of bad weather? Mm -hmm. And then you guys, as you're working at your menu, you know, I mean, it's part of that whole process of, Here's how many people, here's when we'll be here, here's the menu. What happens to inclement weather? I mean, to me, that seems like part of that conversation. Tell me about that. That's who's talking to the process. There's some sort of contract. I mean, that's true. Are they signing the state? Because the doctor didn't sign the state. Yeah, they're signing 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 the how many times, uh, how many people, you know, I'll be talking to your boss over A dozen? Anywhere from 40 to 40, you know, like, every mm -hmm. October. Uh, so. I usually have this place. That's what I thought we had talked about. Was this doing the open mail in the boss or the weather delay or some of the points. Yeah. The bigger issue, though, is this, I think, a big event, and you 
have inclement weather, and then you have 100 people sitting around. I get that. That's a different situation, I think, than it's across the way. Um, and I think so, somebody should be on duty to the golfers. But I think your leverage is that, and again, coming yeah. together, you think this is a, a, a golf commission issue versus whoever's doing the event. I think it, you're paying them money, like you said, right? And so I think uh, you have the leverage in that situation where you're saying, hey, we're, we're having this big event, we're paying money. What happens in a bad weather situation uh, rather than trying to impose a policy on them about, hey, if somebody's paying you for an event, you must staff it. I, I just don't think that's us. Again, somebody yeah. coming from us. I don't know. I don't know. If, if they're forecasting you call for rain, which it sounds like it's going to Wednesday, I think you first up you want to just cancel the thing. Because even if yeah, even if the thing was open, who wants to sit around for three hours waiting for lunch? And the situation right? that's not a great option either. The situation I'm affiliated with is not any kind of that's not never that formal of what's coming up this Wednesday. Right. That was just one of our normal shotgun right. right. Of which we have ten. Every year. Um, yeah. I think we're good customers. I think. Right. No, I see your point. Your answer to me is go talk to you. Would you like me to initiate the conversation? I mean, I'm happy to start the conversation. Whatever you think is, what do you think is smoother? Yeah, why don't you start and tell them all the stuff? Yeah. And we're in a time with respect to this Wednesday. It's World Cup. No, you want to have a little forward. Yeah. 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 It's not the first thing, is it? No. Okay. Yeah. It's like 90%. Well, and again, we're not, we're talking 70 and 80. Right. I got it. Yeah, I know. I'm going to forget how to play it. I'm going to keep track of all of you guys. When you get to be 70, I'll see how they evolve. I'm going to be 80 next year. We'll see if I keep that. All right. I'm more than happy. As I said, my discussions in the past with the Army have been very unsatisfactory. But I'll try again. All right, well, time you start, well, I guess it will be 11.30, so that's a lot of time you want to start. Yeah. yeah. And in this case, I'm assuming, you know, at 11.30, they don't just show up. They get here earlier than that. Some of them as much as an hour earlier. Oh, see how they Yeah, because they're yeah. yeah. getting ready. They just need to pop off the balloons. And we can be able to come in soon. So, I, you know, we, we can talk about staffing. I don't think it's that big a staffing issue. Insurance, I think, is coming. I have no idea. Yeah, no, but I think from that, when you're giving the rest of that much money, that they can make a combination. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to find out the conversation. Yeah, it's going to be a 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 conversation. Yeah, it's going to I mean, that's what you do, right? You, know, you, you pay increase the price a little bit, maybe so we can have a buffer that you've got to bring somebody in. Right. Four hours. Well, thank you for hearing me out. I'll be looking forward to seeing minutes for this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think uh, moving on. I'm done. Yeah. All right, uh, we have Kelly Renna, who is the Russell High School cross country coach, uh, come to talk to us about uh, the request to use the dress. So please. Yeah. Hi. Um, so I coach here at the Russell High School cross country team, um, and I come actually requesting from both Russell and Ward. Um, our course is going to be unusual within the next year or so when they turn from middle school and soccer field. So we've been looking the last year or so for another option for a cross-country course. And I don't know if you've been on either campus, but more in level, our original courses were not great. It was more of a road race um, than a cross-country race. So I live actually not even a quarter mile to the road from here. So I run at Holy Inn the I driving range all the time. Um, and it's a beautiful surface, and I thought, oh, this would be an awesome course, and the driving range makes actually for an amazing starting and finishing area for an event like this. So I played around, not for the course, I've done some number of meetings um, to get permission, so I've already gotten the open police permission to approve, the police department to approve, parks and rights to approve, and you're my last stop. Um, so we really require us to close the driving range, not for the entire day, um, but Monday.
for the start, and then once you pass through the full course again, and then we'll finish there. The J3 is just a one loop, so they just start and finish on the range. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, the shooting range is um, behind where of course runs and I already went back to the home department and there was some easy shooting there. They they never shoot in the morning anyway, but I live right here. I um they shoot in the morning actually I've run in there a couple of times and all the suckers go out and look at the doctor. Um they said the doctor won't put the shoot like a lot of them down and out and they gave us the blessing. Now did you pick this because you know it's there or is that my first question is, this is uh, an active business, right? To shut down an active business, is there, is there no other location in the town, right? So, so I switched middle school before this yeah. at Tomlinson, which has no campus. And yeah. so I have been down the street before I shut down Lake Moody in two years in a row. Uh, for a middle school course, there's only these 1.7 miles. I was able to find workable trails, but even those were a bit dodgy. You know, I, I, it wasn't the most comfortable space for a lot of kids. I can't hear everywhere. There's so many routes. Um, it just sucks. And I looked at the like, Kiwanis, the other middle school, um, and the Kiwanis and um, Senior Center area. And that's a tough course, so there's not a lot of money. And then it's, it's very difficult. It's even the best case. So if I was able to make it long enough there, no one could really watch because. So you want roads? You want, you want like. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anthony, any thoughts on this? I know you uh can tell you something now. And a lengthy phone conversation. Yeah, whatever <laughs> you guys want to do. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you guys, I'm sure read my email. I'm opposed to the event, but what, if you guys deem that this is something we should be doing, then shut the course down. Go for it. Anthony, why are you opposed? Yeah. You told me not on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are opposed. Nope. But, nope. But Everything I've said has still been no, <laughs> and I, I think we should leave it up to the commission to decide. If it was a yes, you know, I would have said it was a yes. But my my answer has always been no. He kind of was the thing that we call parking, closing our business, you know, I mean, the 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 initial concerns of parking and shutting down and driving. Okay, so unfortunately, we're not able to accommodate this request. That's right. You, you feel this is the best of all the available options in terms of a I'm more interested in your opinion, to be honest with you. I'm not a lost my place. What that? I don't know if that's my place. No, no, no. I just heard from my coworker who was just revenue. I'm also lost for the afternoon because that's what it is. I think I'm not. I'm making a motion. We can't move this event. I'm second. I wait one minute. I'm going to go get another year. Right. I make a motion that we approve this event for the 2023 season only, and then review for the future. I'll second that. I have no problems. Any more discussions before we go? Any other thoughts? I'll tell you right now where I am. Uh, I'm very much on the fence on this one. Um, my personal opinion is to close, even for the other country time, that's a good point that it's October, to close the business for it just seems like in our side, I, mean, I don't have any background. So take what's worth. It seems like there's got to be other locations that, that active in that and, and, and drive. Uh, it just seems like a really awkward location to hold uh, a cross country event in the middle of driving. Right? I mean, it's just. It's actually a perfect starting finishing area. It is actually a perfect, perfect course. It's all crafters. And crafters are very good at Maybe 
So an individual race could have a hundred runners. Yeah, 
I, I did not hear the question. What's going on I didn't with hear the acoustics question. In, the re, in the restaurant? The restaurant sound system. I have no idea. I would have to follow up with Bob and, and Peter to see if anybody's done any, anything. But I haven't heard anything about it. Jay Ryan was working on quotes was the last thing. Okay. So we can follow up with Jay. Okay. What about the set pictures? Been good? Yeah. Uh, no, We talked about cutting down that monster tree. We did. Right. We just didn't even spend that out. Which I think would be great. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I don't remember what. I don't remember what we talked about. What do you think? Yeah. 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 Yeah.